for into everyday life we see many forms of digital art right at the palm of your hand. We have access to over thousands of examples of digital art. And that's why our project takes a more specific look into seven different representations of digital art in social media. Digital art takes form in things that we may not consider to be art because of the widespread use and popularity. Instagram has become an unobvious place for digital art to be displayed. Take the account Eat by Chloe for example. This account is a restaurant, but take a look at how they fully embrace the self-expression aspect of Instagram by turning their feed into a work of art. Their feed combines art and their food products. This picture, for example, is monochromatic with different hues of purple. And the woman in the picture looks like she could be from a different time, either the past or the future. Spotify has introduced a new form of art to support and enhance their music through videos. This intrigues people with digital art to try and draw them in to listening to the latest tracks. Seeing moving visuals may encourage the listener to tune into the song. YouTube is one of the original forms of widespread user-generated digital art. People have the ability to enhance their content through the use of digital art. Take Lady Gaga's John Wayne video, for example. Her use of digital art to tell the story makes it captivating for the listener. Sorry this project is late, but we still should get an A. Snapchat takes digital art to a whole new level. With augmented reality filters, sharing your digital art becomes that much easier. This is an example of how digital art has the ability to be hidden in our everyday society. People in the demographic age range of 18 to 24 wouldn't necessarily take this as an example of digital art because we are surrounded by it at all times. But in fact, this is digital art. Bitmoji. This app gives you the opportunity to be creative and interactive with digital art. You can create a profile emoji version of yourself and dress it up to your taste. You can also create your very own digital art and use it in other forms of digital art, such as using emojis, different applications such as iMessage and the iPhone, and Snapchat. Another example of digital art that we may not consider would be technology. This example showcases digital art in new and interesting ways and uses many different mediums. Art mimics life in this example. This ad promoting Apple and emoji effects uses Childish Gambino's red bone through the use of Apple emojis, which we use every day for self-expression. This kind of digital art possesses something that original forms of advertising did not and could not possess, sharing ability. Due to this sharing ability, we now overlook the fact that digital art exists everywhere, in advertising, in music, and in social media. How can products influence art? Well, products are infused in our culture and art mimics just that. Artist Andy Warhol used brands in his art to reflect pop culture. He took a very simple product, such as the Campbell's soup can, and turned it into an icon. Take Levi's for example, not too shiny of a product by any stretch. And social media influences and pop culture turn them into a very desirable brand. Pinterest, for example, uses boards to showcase a design aesthetic that turns a boring product into something worth sharing. They further reinforce this brand tone in their advertising. It just takes some creative thinking to turn even the most boring of things into something special.